It's one of the latest unmistakable displays of U.S. firepower high above the Korean Peninsula. America's biggest gun in the sky found on board a U.S. Air Force AC-130J, the Ghost Rider. It's a 105 millimeter howitzer cannon loaded in a matter of seconds with brass 43 pound shells, powerhouse percussion, and on two. Part of a strategic symphony between the U.S. and South Korean militaries. Stand by for your game plan. U.S. Air Force Special Operations Command granted CNN unprecedented access inside the Ghost Rider. And what we witnessed? Americans in the air talking to Korean service members on the ground. Some of them working together for the first time, spotting practice targets below and opening fire. So we're a few minutes into the blink. Can you talk to us about what is going to happen and what we're looking at here? Absolutely. So, right back here, what we have is our 105 millimeter howitzer. Uh, so we are rolling into our live fire range over South Korea right now. Today is a training mission, so there are smaller, low-yield explosions. But the sound heard thousands of feet away is echoing thunder. Why is it important to have an AC-130? On the ground, we spoke with Major Josh Burris, once an accountant, now mission commander. And why is it key to have an aircraft like the AC-130 able to deploy here to Korea as quickly as possible? The unique thing about the AC-130 is the amount of, of fires that we bring, uh, the amount of munitions, the diverse amount of them. All right, consent in the box. Going on two. All right, next heading, 070, got two. The Air Force says its continued message here is deterrence. And with this aircraft, power. So when the cannon starts to open fire, the tail where I'm standing or coiled from full six feet this way. You know, your heart really skips a beat when this all starts to happen and the entire plane kills it. The Ghost Rider, just one piece of the U.S.-Korean strategic symphony as the tempo of these exercises continues and North Korea watches across the horizon. Mike Valerio, CNN, Osan Air Base, South Korea. Thank <laughs> you.